right now, I am not at the shop. I am at a place called Jacob's Loft, and it is above a local funeral home across from McDonald's. Weird, but whatever. And I am putting together tier trays. I am part of a event that a local vegan chef is putting on tonight. And it is, her cooking is amazing. Just first, right off the bat, like, wow. Um, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't like her cooking. She is crazy awesome. And um, we have worked together on a project actually in the store that you'll probably see video of later or like pictures of. But um, we did kind of like a little advertising thing. So after that, she really liked our style and liked us. So she's been working with us and we did a um, kind of a collab to put on this thing. So she's doing the food and I'm doing the decor and the dinnerware. And yeah, we're gonna put on a really nice dinner for everybody. But for that to happen, we need dessert trays. So I have um, eight more of these to put together. So I will show you what the place looks like and my theme and the tablescape. And I'm sorry, I'm so red and sweaty. I was just like bringing up boxes and stuff. But um, yeah, so I will show you all that. Okay, so I've started doing the tablescape and I do have a bit of a runner. So I'm gonna get you guys to vote even though it's gonna be too late by the time you see this. I'll have decided. But these are the two choices. So right now, sorry, my hand. I have no runner. And it's like this. I don't have candles and the finishing greenery yet. But I think it's too plain. So now I'm gonna cut to with runner. Okay, so this is with the runner. And I did put some stuff on there. I have some holes to fill in with greenery still, but I think I like the runner. I think it's a runner kind of event. Okay, so I have one table almost complete. I have six more tables to go and I'm taking a break because it is warm up here. I really hope they turn on the AC soon so we can get that on because it's warm. And with like 45 people in here, it's gonna be very warm. So I hope they turn it on soon. But anyway, it's going really well. Um, there was enough of everything so I was afraid there wouldn't be enough glasses or silverware or whatever, whatever. Um, so the silverware is mixed. I'll show you pictures of that now. See, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I didn't want like all gold or all silver or so I really mixed up like the antique silverware with the gold plated, with the stainless steel, and kind of did like a little mix mash of um, silverware. So everybody gets one special piece at each place setting. So there's like one gold piece, and there's, or there's one fork or one knife, and it's like the really pretty stuff. And sometimes it's two and whatever, but it's all mixed up. So not everybody, not one person gets like all gold or all silver or whatever. But yeah, I think it's gonna look really cool. And I will show you more pictures. And I think I might try to set up a time lapse for the next couple tables. So you can see kind of how I set everything up and how I tablescape, but yeah. Thanks for following along. This is a really fun adventure. Um, I've done catering before and we've had the setup stuff 
but being kind of in charge of the entire theme and styling, it's really cool. I really love it. time it is probably like three ish maybe two thirty three o'clock been here since just after nine and I am done the tables are set we have uh, everything is done I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I've done and kind of talk you through it a little bit okay so we'll start in this corner here so I just wanted to do a little bit of display of like the baskets that we carry in the store and just like the little sign saying that all of this was provided by the lumberjack's daughter. And then this is the first table. So what I did here was I used faux plants and tied them with raffia around these little like plant label sticks. And I stamped them with her logo. And then I wrote the name of the person that's going to be at the dinner. I did use a mix mash of silverware, as you can see. And then in the center, I used these LED battery uh, string of lights. They're about six feet with the artist canvas underneath like the raw artist canvas and i just used any bottles or jars that i had and then i mixed it with the vines and fake flowers and i went with a cream or white for all of the the flowers and greenery I tried to keep it very fresh, very healthy. Okay, so here is table one, table two, table three, and table four. So these are the eight person tables. Then we have three of the round tables over here. So the round table seat four, and instead of doing a floral central centerpiece, I went with the lanterns on here just to give it a little more space. And because people are walking in through this space, I didn't want it to be too high. So that's the round table. So people enter up these stairs here, then they come in and there is a console table right here that has one of our signs and then I put same the same kind of twinkle lights LED lights but these are silver I wanted a little bit different than on the tables for this one and none of the tables have the like um, tropical plants they have more like ferns and ivy and stuff like that so I wanted this one to be a little bit different even though I do have some of the ferns and stuff here so there are a couple bars in this room too. So I just wanted to put a little bit of greenery on the bars. So here I did um, just a clear vase in a black holder, the little plastic plant, and then a silver uh, candle holder. And then across the room, it has a much bigger bar. So what I did was I added one of our baskets just for some texture in this corner and a little bit of shiny with the brass. And then in the center here, because Jacob's Loft has this gap between Jacob's and Loft, I thought it would be really great to have this flower here with the candle holder. But then it looked really dull. So I put these large branches, 
that kind of brings your eye just over to the simple candle holder by the tissues. So I know it's kind of boring and I could put greenery here, but because there's so much everywhere else, I really just wanted like a, a moment for your eye not to see green. <laughs> so here's the space. 